What's up guys, Beast Angle 6 from Durnitz Elite Flotilla, and this video is about angle on the bow, or AOB, so let's talk about that. What the heck is AOB? So the angle on the bow is something that tricks a lot of people when they first start playing this game. It still messes with me even to this day after so many years of playing it, okay? Angle on the bow is the angle on the enemy target's ship. The bow angle. So here's his bow right here. I have a little tramp steamer here. He's pointing what looks like he's towards me and to the right. He is exposing his starboard side. Okay. If you take a look at this ship, um, and you notice the angle, the, the best way to understand the angle on the bow is to look at the masts, right? Or look at the front of the ship. It's angled, you can see the left side, you can see the front. You know that this ship is not coming towards you, and you know the ship is not completely on its side. You're not looking at its profile. Let's compare it to another ship. Okay. You have a tanker. This tanker is also coming towards us, but unlike the tramp steamer, it's coming at us at a bit of a steeper angle. You can still you can still see the front. You're seeing more of the sides. It's not the same angle. The tramp steamer had a steeper angle. Okay, let's try another one. And now the cargo ship. Here's your cargo ship. And if you're looking at all the angles, the bow is. Is this ship is actually going away from us? You can tell because you can see the side, you can see the starboard, and you can see the back of the ship. So I know just from looking at this ship, it's going away from me. If I look at the masts, you can see the masts are they're definitely not aligned. So this ship is going away. I have one more to show you. tramp steamer almost 90 degrees it's still coming towards us though how do you tell just look at the front okay the tramp steamers only have single masts so for the most part when they're about 90 degrees or less you really can't tell okay now let's see here go back to the tanker on the speed of time Speeding up. Now, as you can see, the tanker. I sped up time to show you the tanker. The tanker is getting more and more to the 90 degree angle. This tanker in the Naval Academy always goes from north to south, and eventually it's going to hit a 90 degree mark. Okay, I'm going to show you again in faster speed. There's a perfect 90 degree angle right there. Okay, it's perfect. All right, this is your 90 degree angle. Everything is flush. You can't really see the front or the back. It's exactly what it is. Now, this video is not a how to to figure out through navigation, roll maps, or through tools. It's just more of a lecture. Angle on the bow takes practice. You need to know what the zero degree angle on a bow is. 180 degree, 90 degree, okay, 45 degree, and so forth. Okay, that takes time. You're not going to get it right away. You need to be able to take time and study it. The best way to do that is just like this. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ziel wird identifiziert. Right here. This little book, your recognition book, is awesome. It gives you everything. It gives you little pictures. Here's your zero degree, 20 degree, 45 degree. You obviously know what 90 degree looks like. You know what 80, 180 degree looks like. You should be able to do this with no problem. Okay, so practice, practice, practice. 
And that's basically the only thing I have to tell you about as far as angle on the bow. Just keep practicing and you'll get it. Now, in my next video, we're going to bring all of these things together to plot this ship onto a map with no marks on it, 100% realism. Okay, you're going to need your ranging, you're going to need your speed, and you're going to need your angle on the bow to come together. It's called the four bearing method. I'll see you then.